Rachel Levin, Al Jazeera, Caracas. George Chicarella Maher is an expert on Latin American social movements and an assistant professor at Drexel University. And he joins me now from Philadelphia. Thanks very much for coming on the program today. Um, I want to start with asking about Maduro. Uh, Chavez has already indicated that this is the man that he wants to step into his shoes. Give us an idea of how difficult it or, you know, difficult I would, I would assume it would be to make that step. Certainly. I mean, Maduro is a bit of a question mark. We don't know where he's going to be headed in the, in the years that come. Uh, he, he keeps his cards very close to his chest. Um, he does have a radical background, and yet, as we know, he is soft-spoken. This doesn't mean his politics will be moderate, but it does mean that he's going to attempt to, to keep everyone happy, at least for the, in the near future. It will be a very difficult task. You've got a radical left in the Chavista movement uh, that wants the revolution to deepen and to radicalize, to become more of a profound and radical revolutionary movement. You also have what's known as the internal right within the Chavistas, and what they want more than anything is to slow the process down, to not get, let things get out of hand, and to keep, uh, sort of keep power within their own hands. So under the Constitution, an election would be held within 30 days, and uh, we have Maduro on one side and Enrique Capriles on the other side. How much of a competition is this likely to be? It's not going to be much of a competition. It's almost certain that, uh, that Maduro will win. There's no real question about that, in part because Chavez himself won the election in October by nearly 11 uh, percentage points, and it would be very difficult for Maduro to lose that. On top of that, uh, since the election, the opposition has done what this Venezuelan opposition does best, which is to disintegrate under any kind of pressure. There's been backbiting, and, and there's been a whole series of accusations thrown at Radonsky that he doesn't support the smaller groupings within the opposition. And this is all in the guise of struggling over who will actually be the candidate uh, against, against Nicolas Maduro. I expect that it will be Cabriles, but at the same time, other parties are already beginning to withdraw their support from him. Now, over the past three months, Chavez has not been very visible, and his officials have been saying that he has been directing the country from his hospital bed. But in your opinion, who has been running the country? Well, I mean, I believe that Chavez has been in charge of the, the general strokes of the economy. It's difficult to know up until what point in his illness he was. But at the same time, Chavez has a dozen, dozens of ministers that are very capable of running, uh, running these uh, everyday issues in the way that they do when he's in the country and when he's active. The question is going to be who is going to be there to really draw these ministers together, to draw this government together, and to push it along on a revolutionary course. And whether Maduro will do that is, is unclear. How long uh, he will be able to maintain a sort of moderate position without tacking either to the left or the right is really one of the struggles and one of the questions that he's going to need to confront. I know a lot of people in Venezuela uh, expect Maduro to be a sort of caretaker governor for the next six years, during which time new revolutionary leaders sprout up uh, and, and ready themselves to take the helm of this government six years down the road. Now, we've been seeing a reaction from the U.S. with Obama saying that he's hoping that this will be able to take relations on a new direction. Um, given, as you say, and you feel that Maduro is, is very much likely the successor, can you see that happening? Can you see relations that have been frayed in recent years improving? Well, relations could have changed in, uh, in 2008 uh, when Obama was elected, but simply they didn't, and this is a, a myth that has been perpetuated. Uh, under Obama, the, Ven the, the United States government has continued to openly support the Venezuelan opposition and to make it perfectly clear, especially via someone like Hillary Clinton, that they hope that Chavez will leave power sooner rather than later. Now, I think they'll be optimistic about this situation, but the reality is until the United States is willing to, uh, you know, to allow the, the Venezuelan people to uh, engage in a, in a direct democracy, and choose their own leaders and until the United States is willing to respect the popular demands of the Venezuelan people, then there's no, there's no real substantive way that these relations can change because the United States is more interested really in what's going to affect their pocketbook than anything else. George Chicarello, Mark, really good to get your analysis and speak to you. Thank you. Okay, we can now go to Caracas, the Venezuelan capital, and look at some live pictures from that. This is the